nothing wrong with having a white fridge, guys. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited because today we are doing a house tour. I have lived here officially for one year, guys. I moved in May 2023 and now it's May, June. June 2024 and this place has been my safe place my girly cave for this house I wanted it to be a safe place for me so the rule was no men and it's been the best rule I ever came up with <laughs> yeah let's get started but where you guys just were is my front door that's where I have some shoes that I wear a lot this area is where I have my giant whole vet mirror it's the best mirror ever guys and it's from Ikea and it's one of the first things I bought for this house even before I moved in, I bought this, guys. It's very important I have this here because this is also where I have my yoga mat and I do my vlogging right here. Right here is really important to have the mirror because this is where I correct my form and do some Pilates. Yeah, I really want to do it daily. I've been doing walking daily, but Pilates, we will get there. Excuse me. And also, I love having a mirror here because it hides my internet box. See, that's where the internet box is. And then here is my stool where I put on my shoes every day. And it's actually storage too. So umbrella, I have glasses in there. Next to the mirror is the living room. Yes, this is the most aesthetic part of my house, I would say. Especially because I have the, the Samsung Serif TV, which is literally an art piece. If you guys can't tell, it's in the shape of an eye right here so cool and it was created by two artist brothers yeah the reason i put so much love into this little area and a lot of money is because i never had a living room before so yeah i literally furnished this room before i got a bed yeah here's my couch my amazon couch and then my coffee table i've had this couch for a year now and i washed it like 20 times now and it kind of smells and I'm gonna have to replace it I really want the Ikea green couch I think it will be so cute in my house but I don't want to invite people over because they might feel like my couch smells but I can't really smell it but my mom she has good smelling and she says it smells like wet she says it smells like old mildew or something it was only like $900 and we I, I used it a lot I slept on it and then Oh, I dropped my camera. And then here, by the ottoman, I have a photo album. It's still really empty, but I just want to show you guys. I want to add more. Hee <laughs> hee. Yeah, for when people come over, they could look at that. And then my coffee table. I actually got this one. This one is so nice quality, guys. This went perfectly with my couch. And then here is my clear chair. It's kind of dangerous to sit on, so I only use it for decoration and added a cute pillow on top. Okay, this is my little dining area. I used to never sit here and eat. This table used to be like over here, and that was the reason. And when I moved in here, I've been eating breakfast here every day. This table I had since I was in California, and I recently got these from Ikea. Such cute stools. I think they were a collaboration with the artist too. I love art, and I got this lamp in November, and I love it so much. It was so expensive, but I think it's so worth it. It just makes my house feel just a little bit more cuter. But here is where I had my shelves that I built in one of my videos. Okay, next to the dining table is just like this really empty space now, and I actually got a package today exercising machine and i'm thinking of putting here so to be continued stay till the end of the video to see if i add it here because this area is like really empty all i have are these shelves if you guys missed out in one of my videos i made these shelves for ramen but i ate all my ramen and i decided i would decorate with pretty stuff so i added a lot of stuff that makes me happy can you guys believe this is a candle oh my gosh and I even added these cups I recently got at Five Below. They're in the shape of flowers. If you guys can't tell, the theme of my house is flowers. 
every corner of this house you will see a flower and then i recently got this clothing rack from ikea or what is it called what is this called it is so pretty i had to get it i think it's one of a kind honestly and i used to have a bunch of winter coats but i put them away because it's hot these days and i just put like stuff i wear daily yeah it's so useful guys even though it's like so purpley and girly it does the job okay and random but this is i think this is called boiler room this is where the air conditioning and heater is and i put my broom and my water vacuum here Welcome to my kitchen. I call this my pink kitchen. Everything is pink themed. I love it so much. I literally bought these flowers for this video because I wanted super pink flowers. And then next to the flowers, my cousins, they gave me this. It's so cute. It's like an incense thingy and it kind of looks like mochi. So yeah, right here is where mochi's bowls are. And one of you guys actually bought this for her for her birthday. So thank you so much. Okay, first of all, this is a super girly fridge and I love it so much. Nothing wrong with having a white fridge, guys. Someone commented that I should get a new fridge, but why? It's so cute. I added these stickers by myself and I'm so happy about that. I feel like the fridge just makes my kitchen complete. So yeah, we got the fridge and then when you walk in, carpeting perfect for when you're washing dishes it's so nicely padded so it's very comfortable okay and then this is the sink area i always wanted a kitchen island and my dream came true with this one i'm so happy about it and this is where i have my rice cooker and look at my drying rack guys it's pink and my dishwashing gloves here is the, where the stove area is air fryer my mom's cups and of course i put this on display because it was a 200 dollar pot so and i actually use it a lot yeah, i have electric stove yeah this is fruit bowl. I have my white pots up there because I use them every day. And this place lacks storage, so I had to get those pink bins. People always comment about these. It's just like extra dishes that we don't use daily. And then up there, I have a sippy cum, the marbles. It's so cute. I thought it looked great right there. My kitchen looks so clean until you look at the drawers. And I feel like I want to do another video of me organizing my kitchen because... So comment down below if you guys want to see another organizing video. <laughs> yeah, surprisingly, this house has two bathrooms. Right next to the kitchen is the guest bathroom. And uh, every time I have people over, it's such clutch so that they don't have to go upstairs. Yeah, it's pretty boring though, not gonna lie. It's brown in here because we didn't paint it. But yeah, this is where Mochi's food is. This is where I wash her bowls every morning with the horse sponge. By the way, I was gonna make this room horse theme because my mom got this photo because she says horses like the image of a horse is a really good look and it gives you brings you more money to your home so i was planning to put a bunch of horse stuff here like more pictures of horses and horse sculptures but i can't find horse stuff anywhere so yeah. you guys have never seen this room that was the guest bathroom okay next to the bathroom ah! okay next to the bathroom we have this little closet space and it's directly under the stairs, so this is good storage for large items. We This is our pantry. Yeah, you guys have seen me clean this area a few times because it gets really messy fast. Yeah, like water, bags, big pots, and like rice. This is where I keep this uh, life bag because me and my mom always eat alone. And yeah, just in case we choke, we have that. Fire extinguisher and like all my appliances my apron it's pretty clean right now because i cleaned it in the last video and i have my shopping bag right here okay final area is an area i've never shown anyone in the world i'm not showing the garage because it's so bad right now but um this is the place where we just throw everything it has like mochi's leashes we have like workings here i have tools this is where we keep our mail it's just like it's literally going insane in this area okay now we officially have toured the first level of the house it's a very open layout kind of home and i really like that what i always wanted for a long time and now we could go upstairs where all the rooms are look at this cute rug i just got a couple days ago it's for mochi because when she goes down she goes super rough so isn't it so cute like i said flowers everywhere you look flower 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 <laughs> Yesel for sponsoring this portion of the video. So excited to add Yesel's indoor bike to my space. This is their G1M Plus bike. It's freaking amazing. I am genuinely so excited to have this in my life. It has a 21 inch screen. 
HD and you can watch YouTube on it, your favorite movie, your favorite show, and listen to music. Let's unbox this. It is so perfect in this space. It's like the perfect size and everything. I'm thinking of adding stickers or bows. Let me see. Can I do this bow? Okay, so this is the area where you put your phone, like so. Let's put it here. Hello, yes, old. Audio mode. Bluetooth mode. Four hours in a... I'm gonna make it louder. Sound quality is so freaking good. I'm actually really impressed. It has four speakers and two subwoofers. Definitely, it's gonna make my workout so much fun when I just want to listen to music. But I wanted to show you guys something else. If you don't want to listen to music, connect your phone via casting. So they provide one for Android phones or iPhones like mine. So I'm gonna do this one. Plug it in. Connect this part to your phone. So this is my phone. And now it's on the screen, but I like that it keeps it keeps the tracking on the corner right here. Oh my gosh, I got a hundred thousand views on my newest video. Thank you so much. Not me on Roblox. It's me. Not me playing Brookhaven on my Yeso bike. Hey guys, if you didn't know, like the most popular indoor bike, Pelotonin, is like 2,500. But this one literally does the same thing, but it's only $499. But if you use my code Julie100, you'll get $100 off, and it's only $399. I can't believe this is only $399 with my coupon. Such a good deal with my coupon, so don't forget to use my coupon. Again, thank you so much to ESL for sponsoring this portion of this video. Let's continue my house tour. So these stairs, when I first toured this house, I noticed that there was so much stairs. But now we're on the second level. Boom. You guys have never seen this corner of my house before, right? When you come up the stairs, this is the second level. And immediately, we have a whiteboard here. Since my mom and I live together, I like to think of us as a team. So here we have goals we are sharing with each other. And yeah, any reminders, we write it there. But it is stuck in April, so I need to update it to June. So yeah, second level. Boom, let me turn you guys. This is where we have our washer and dryer. I'm so happy we found a place with a washer and dryer. Even if it's not front loading, I'm so thankful. It's really messy, but yeah, this is where I wash my clothes. We have a washer and dryer. We're so lucky. Not gonna lie, I almost moved into a place with no washer and dryer and that I can't even imagine. Yeah, next to the washer and dryer, we're finally at the bedrooms. There's two bedrooms in this house. This one and this one. Guess which one is mine? Comment down below. Okay, across from the washer and dryer is the shared bathroom upstairs. So it's like a, what's that word called? Something bathroom? There's two entrances. So you could enter through this door or you could enter through the master bedroom door. Jack and Jill restroom, that's what it's called. There's a lot of pink stuff in here too. Uh, you could tell this is a girly bathroom though because so much pink. Left or right? Ready? Three, two, one. Mine is this one. Um, I won't be showing you guys my mom's room. One, because I didn't even ask her if I could show you guys. But also her room is really messy. So I wouldn't want to show that. And yeah, let's go into my room. This is basically me and Mochi's room. Yeah, this is my bedroom, guys. You enter through this door, right? And this is the bathroom I just showed you guys earlier. My room is still so unfurnished. Like I said earlier, I mainly furnished level one of the house, so. But it's okay, I'm gonna live here another year, by the way. I signed the lease, renewal. I literally just put this up and it makes my room feel so complete. I should have done this earlier. And then I have Mochi's bed here to fill up the space. By the way, guys, I feel like this is me. If you guys didn't know, oranges are my favorite. So literally, this is me. This is the entrance to my room. This is the bathroom. And then this is the closet. I'll show you guys the closet after I show you guys my bed area. So yes, I don't have a bed frame still after one year, but I don't mind because it makes it easier for Mochi to climb onto bed. I have really simple bedding. I find simple is best. 
for good night's sleep and I have set in pillows and this is a bear I got from Korea it's so comfortable to lay on and actually guys I literally just got these I don't have bed frame yet but guys I got these bedside tables a couple days ago and I feel like a functioning adult now having bedside table is so nice you get to put your phone on it at night yeah I got two of these and they go perfectly with my desk area so pretty I bought two of them. I'm kind of starting a photo wall here. I think it's so aesthetic. Anyways, I have this tissue box here. It's so cute from Ikea. But I mainly put it here because, guys, I'm so sad. I had face oil and I stained the wood. How do I get this out? Anyways, the tissue box is cute there. That's my little bed area. Me and Mochi sleep here, guys. <laughs> like I said, the bedside table matches my computer which is kind of like a green blue theme so yeah this is my little office desk area where i get a lot of work done yeah guys i literally just rearranged this desk area but i love it so much okay so pins for days everything's green here except my mouse isn't my mouse so cute it's wireless too like i keep all my electronics my cameras, my notebooks. This is where I journal every morning. I've been journaling every day and I feel like it's really helping my mental health. I did something so amazing recently. I hung up my 100K plaque. I've never done that before and it feels real now. I should have done this a long time ago. And then I have my clock. It actually works guys and it has green hands. Here I have my habit tracker. If you watched the last video, you know that I had some mental health issues and this is one of the first things that helped me get back on to my life. So yeah, I really recommend this. So yeah, again, my bed area, desk area, and then this side is so empty. That's the thing about having a big space. I realize it's harder to furnish and fill in the spaces. But yeah, this is why I have my air purifier. It's always running on night mode because Mochi has allergies. I just think she deserves clean air. And yeah, we're back to this area. So now I can show you guys my closet. So yeah, this is the closet and it's pretty big. It's really roomy. I have only filled half of the closet because I recently did a closet video on my second channel and it was like super intense. I donated like 10 bags of clothing. And I'm actually gonna be restructuring this closet in my second channel. I'm gonna take down all these built-ins and make my own i want a really nice closet and i'm gonna be here for a year so i thought why not and like i said only this side of the closet is filled and this side i'm actually gonna make it into like a vanity area i don't have proper place to do my makeup or my hair and i feel like i'm always awkward doing it on my desk or in the bathroom so this side i'm planning to make it into my vanity i'm gonna add like a table mirror with light also guys i still do not have a dresser after living here for a year so bad i put my pajamas I'm almost on the floor still so if you guys have a recommendation for a cute dresser that suits my vibe let me know in the comments because i haven't found a dresser i like yet this closet if you guys want to follow my journey of making it super cute and girly follow my second channel because i'm doing a whole series about it that was my closet we are done with the house tour and because I need to make this video 10 more minutes longer, I'm gonna cook dinner with you guys. A lot of you guys miss my spicy rice cake videos and I literally found some giant ones in Minnesota. So we're gonna do that for dinner. Yeah, do you guys like my house? Isn't it so me? It's, this is just the beginning. Imagine us a year from now, how much more cuter it can become. Especially my bedroom because my bedroom is kind of empty. Yeah, let's go cook. Dang! Oh my god! Hi! Hi. How are cute? you? Oh. <laughs> oh, you're so different. Really? I'm like better. Oh. I upgraded. Oh my god, this is so cute. That's so cute. What is that? Oh! oh that's so cute. Is that flower? Yeah. What the heck? I got you the flower. Okay, yeah, you. I got you. Oh. I'm gonna give you a gift too. Did you eat all this on the No, plate? I can't. Oh, this is all for me? This whole bag? Yeah, it's from Ken. You can go like this. <laughs> wait, wait, don't. <laughs> okay, wait, don't open until I say open, okay? Oh, this is actually really nice. Yeah. Guys, these are our phones. Our phones are so different from Korea. I had the iPhone 7 back then, and she had the iPhone 8. Now she has 14 and I have 13. I'm taking a picture of my bear. 
guys we only have like 15 minutes left so sad because she has to go through security and then no she has to check in and then go through security and we don't know how long that takes yeah this is my first time ever meeting a friend during their layover let's film final memories terry let me have this picture it's us holding mac and cheese but with cheese flavor ketchup It looks like spicy chips. Cheers. So sour. Oh my god. It straight up tastes like ketchup. <laughs> if you like ketchup, you'll like this one. Uh, tear off the outside. There's the inside. Coffee. What was your reaction when I said goodbye? Disappointed. Oh yeah guys, so we didn't have a falling out or anything, but like I just needed some space. She's so nice though, she didn't like like bother me or like force me to like talk to her. I appreciated that. Thank you, Terry. <laughs> it's from Canada. Okay, what, what question do you have for me? Um, what made you wish that? So like recently? I like my life a lot way better. From now on, I only want to choose like kind people in my life. I think I wanted Terry back in my life. I don't know, explain it. I'll write it down here why I reached out to Terry. <laughs> like, I really want to try this. What happens if you reach out and I like act differently? Even if you don't like me no more, I, I wouldn't have regretted it. I still would have done it, like no matter what. Look like that. Yeah. It's really dry though. I think I like the ketchup more though. Really? But she. It's good. I'm gonna eat it when I eat. only like there's a company maple tea. It's a maple tea. Maple tea. Yeah, the chocolate's the best. But guys, when I go home, I can't wait to do this. Well, I'm gonna be scared to eat it because it's gonna be the last one. We have seven more minutes together. How do you think I will react if you reach out to me? I didn't know what to expect because I haven't seen her in four years, so I don't know her personality. I, I just tried just to see what happened. Oh. Turned out good, I think. Do you have uh, any questions? Uh, can I see your picture? Your I'll edit that for Yeah, people. I'll show it to you. Oh, okay. Not. Yeah, okay. Just cut that one. Yeah, I'll vlog. <laughs> okay, bye, Terry. See you bye. in. Where should we meet next? Minnesota. Oh, shoot. Okay, to be continued. Hello. Wait, I forgot my lipstick. <laughs> okay, put on lipstick and I'll show you. Okay, Terry, say hi. Yeah, I just <gasps> opened a new one. It's Guys, it's so pretty. She showed me in person. I'm gonna use this. My friend got this for me. <gasps> I dropped down the table. Oh, careful. No, no, no. <laughs> Wait, what is that? A mirror. <gasps> oh, a Canadian mirror. My it looks so nice. Asked. Do you miss Canada now? Yeah. Oh, welcome back to America. No. Yeah, it changes color on your lips. Oh, okay. So cool. Okay, I have it. Yay. You want to show them your poutine with me? Okay, yeah. this is proof we have the same thing, guys. Oh, poutine. Wait, what does poutine taste like anyways? It's just basically fries with gravy and uh, cheese curds. Gravy and cheese curds. It sounds bomb. Okay, I'm gonna open it now. The next step is to stir. Oh shoot, I forgot to stir. My favorite room in my whole house is my kitchen. What about you? Wait, let me see if it's ready. Oh, oh yeah, huh? That's smart. Yeah, it's ready. Okay. Ooh, the color is like poutine for all. It looks good. What do you think? It smells good. 
Hmm. I like it. It tastes Asian. Yeah, it's salty like Asian food. Oh my god, it's so yummy. I'm gonna be so sad when it's done. I think it's, yeah, I, I could taste the salty. Mm. But it's a good kind of salty. Thank you, Terry. It's so freaking good. What the heck? I'm sad now. I want to buy a lot of these. I should have bought more. <laughs> but it even tastes better than poutine itself. What? Really? Damn. Um, I like this more than poutine. <laughs> <laughs> she likes this more than poutine. How would you yeah. rate it? 10 out of 10, for real. Me too, 10 out of yeah. 10. Yeah. Oh, if anyone in America knows where to get these, let us know. We actually really like it. You don't work today? No, I'm off today. It's Sunday. Oh yeah, Sunday. After this, I had to film again, so... I'm so busy okay, today. Okay. Have fun at Pickleball. Okay, bye. I got to go. Okay, bye. Thank you for this. So yummy. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. <laughs> that was a 15-minute call. I haven't FaceTimed anyone in like 10,000 years. So sad. It's really rare for me to like instant foods. And this one is so bomb. I haven't seen this in so long. I found Jumbop at Trader Joe's, so we got to try it together. A lot. I had this gochujang for like two years now. It's amazing. Gochujang is amazing. Gochugaru. This is the same thing as the paste, but in powder form. Onion, garlic powder. Dude, my black pepper is empty. Okay, chicken stock, yes. And black pepper, so I get my sugar bear. Okay, sugar first. Mm-mm-mm, it -mm -mm. looks so good. Okay, I'm gonna wait for that to boil. Let's check out the rice cakes. I never tried this thing. They're all stuck together, so I think I have to use all of them. Oh, no. Okay, I'll just use... Actually, I'll just use all of them. <laughs> well, that is boiling. Let's do the Trader Joe's kimbap. You actually microwave it, so... She loves these bones from Costco. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, this is actually so good. Mm. I'm gobbling this up. Mm -mm -mm. By the way, guys, I got a haircut. What do you think? I did a whole glow video on my second channel. I cut my hair. I did my nails. I bought new clothes. This is a new item. <laughs> and I've been having healthier habits too. Hello guys, sorry I'm wearing headphones the whole video. I'm obsessed with music currently. I haven't been able to listen to music for a long time, so... 
I'm like catching up on so many good songs. Honestly, this place is like perfect for me. This is like the safest city I ever lived in. Like I could go out at 3 a.m. Like I did in Korea. That's how safe I feel in this place. I feel so blessed to have found this house. Like I almost gave up. Hopefully from a year from now, I live in New York. <laughs> I want to do it one time. I've been thinking about it before I went to New York for the first time on my birthday. That's why I went to New York, guys, by the way. I don't have a lot holding me down in life, so I'm like super curious how it is to live in different parts of the world. I live in the West Coast, and now I'm, I'm now I'm Midwestern, and now I want to maybe go East Coast. Yeah. Whoa, what if I lived in New York, guys? Okay, now I'm full. This is so freaking delicious. I'm so happy I ate this for this video. Shout out to whoever commented that they miss my long rice cake videos because I got to enjoy it today. Thank you guys for joining me on this life journey. In the last video, I was so depressed, but now I'm in a better place and my home is so cute. And I hope you guys like my house as much as I do. Someone commented that this is their dream house. I literally live in a tiny home. This is my happy place, my safe place, and I'm happy. And it came at a perfect time when I was 27 years old. <laughs>